Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Faculty of Science Freshman Welcome Day. This is LT28. Please take a seat as our program will commence shortly. I'm Tanya, a Year 2 Data Science and Analytics student, and I will be your MC for today. Curious about the Quantitative Finance program? In this talk, we welcome Dr. Li Wei to share more about the curriculum, program requirements, and sample study plans. Dr. Li Wei has been teaching in NUS since 2016 on topics such as calculus and discrete structures in pure mathematics, as well as game theory in applied mathematics. She has also won multiple faculty teaching awards. Dr. Li Wei, please. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, because I received a message saying that the students might be shy and I need to give you some platform to raise questions, but since we are in a very small group, so I think it, let me make it in a freestyle, okay? If you have any questions, just open your mouth and say it, okay? Uh, let me move on to my slides. Okay, now let's start. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to this talk. First, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Li Wei. Currently, I'm the director of the Quantitative Finance Program at the Department of Mathematics. Today, we have this welcome talk together. Later on, if you have any questions during the talk, like what I said just now, just open your mouth and say it. Okay, we are in a very small group. Of course, at the end of this talk, we also have Q&A section, so uh, that is the time for you to ask questions. I hope we have enough time. Uh, I will provide you information and advices on the curriculum of the QF major and second major and minor, three programs here, uh, which you might consider taking them up, of course, uh, just the one of it, okay, in your NUS studies in the coming semester. Um, so before I cover the curriculum requirements of the three QF uh, programs, let me show you where you can find and locate the information regarding to these programs on our department webpage. Uh, let me go to the department webpage first, show you how to do that. And the URL for this uh, page, web page of math department is math, M-A-T-H, dot A-U-S, dot E-D-U, dot S-G. Math, dot A-U-S, dot E-D-U, dot S-G. Okay, in our uh, web page, there are two tabs and menus which are most relevant to you, most important to you. Uh, these are the undergraduates, you can see here, and uh, the course uh, and the timetables tab. Uh, this can be found uh, in the web page, on the web page of Math department. Of course, we also have other menus, but for the undergraduate students, maybe these two are most uh, relevant ones. Okay. The uh, let's uh, start from here. The courses and the timetable. Uh, you can see the drop-down menu and the list uh, curriculum updates, uh, courses offered, courses and tutorial restriction and uh, classes and uh, examination timetables. Okay, if you want to check them, you can click here. Uh, let me 
briefly go through some of them, okay? So for the curriculum updates, it contains some information on the updates of the curriculums. Uh, because from time to time, the development of other areas or maybe the development of mathematics uh, want us to change the curriculum and update some courses. So uh, if you want to have your study plan, you need to uh, take note of this and uh, from time to time you need to check the information here. And the second one, the courses offered, let me uh, click it in so that you can see what is here. So uh, in this link, actually, you can list, uh, find the list of modules that will be offered by the math department in the coming academic year, together with the name of the lecturers. Okay, it is very useful. And for the QF, it is uh, very downside. Um, you can use the search here. But maybe the easiest thing is to have longer list. And the next one, okay, our QF modules, all right? So you can find the information here. This is about the uh, menu of the, let me go back, menu of the courses and a timetable, just a short inter introduction. I don't want to go through all the information you can see from the web page uh, in greater detail. You can play with it later on. I just want you to know there is some information you can find. And in the undergraduate uh, menu, uh, this, this, under this tab, you can see the menu. The second one, major and minor programs. You can see uh, three links here, the primary majors, the second majors, and the minors. So uh, once you click one, for example, the primary majors, you can see all the majors offered by the math department. And if you want to find information about the QF majors, you can uh, say like click the buttons here, the button here, okay? For the second major and uh, the minor, it is in the uh, uh, in the same way. Uh, on the web page, you can see the Zambo study plan. We will also cover one uh, Zambo study plan in this talk. And you also can, uh, you can also find the program requirements, okay? Uh, because we have several cohorts uh, for you, uh, the freshman here, uh, you just use the last one, the academic year 2021-2020 onwards, okay? So you can see the, uh, program requirements here. Uh, so I don't want to read this slide because I include all the information in, uh, in my slides already. Uh, let me close others. Uh, so this is a QF1. This is the I just want you to know how you can find the information. Uh, in, uh, in my talk today, I will uh, briefly go through some important information which you can also find on the web page. And another useful web page is for you uh, is the NUS MOS. So it is NUSMODS.com. So where you can find all the information of the modules offered by the by the whole university okay so the modules the courses uh, sorry it's a bit slow hmm? what happened maybe some trouble with the NUS mod but uh, it is the place where you can find uh, just now it worked but <laughs> However, during my talk, it doesn't. Okay, maybe some problem. You can you can check it later on. Uh, okay, uh, let me go back to my slides. Um, so proceed now to look at the uh, curriculum requirements for the three QF programs. Okay, let's see. Uh, namely, the QF major, second major, and minor. As preload uh, for CHS programs, our major has uh, followed 60 MCs for the uh, major in quantitative finance, for second major, 40 MCs, and minor, 
20 MCs only. Uh, recently, we have a new name for the MCs. Those are called units. One unit is equal to one MC. Because it is a new name, the units, so on some part of the web page, you can see units. On some parts of the web page, you can see MCs. Uh, in my talk, I will use the old name, the MCs. Um, and in AOS, uh, at least in QF modules, okay, in uh, the requirements of QF major, second major, and minor, each module has uh, four MCs. So that means if you are major in quantitative finance, you are required to take uh, 15 courses uh, in QF, and uh, the second major, uh, second major 10 courses, and the minor five courses only. Okay, now let's look at uh, the um, module listing now. Uh, so uh, in case you do not know, in case you are new here, the modules uh, uh, in a offered in AOS are at different levels, level 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and 4,000. Uh, so some lower levels modules need to be completed before you uh, get to the higher level modules because the lower level modules might be the prerequisites for the higher level modules, okay? You can check the information of the prerequisites in uh, AOS MOS, which is uh, the web page doesn't work just now, okay? So uh, briefly speaking, you uh, start from 1,000, then proceed to 2,000 and 3,000 and 4,000 in that order. Let's look at the real, uh, model list here, okay? At 1,000 level, actually, we have only one module. You see, uh, here I listed two, okay? But only the first one, the gateway module QF1100, is included in the requirement of uh, QF major. But why should I include the second one, the CS1010? Because Although it is not included in the requirement of QF major, second major, or minor, it is uh, a prerequisite for some 2,000 level modules, okay? So that means if you are in QF major, you got to finish this module uh, sometime, okay? Uh, for the QF1100, its name is called Introduction to Quantitative Finance. So as the name suggests, it is the introductory module to uh, quantitative finance. It introduces you the basic concepts, techniques, give you the global structures of the QF major, okay? So this one uh, only requires you to have a good pass of H2 math. So the prerequisite of QF1100 is uh, H2 math only. Uh, this module is offered in both semesters, SEM1 and SEM2. So you can choose to finish this either in SEM1 or SEM2, okay? Some flexibility here. And for the CS module, I think uh, it is offered by the School of Computing. Uh, I think this one is also offered in both semesters, both semester one and semester two. Now let's move on to the level 2000 on the right-hand side, okay? So uh, for the 2000, we'll begin with uh, the basic mathematical modules, MA2001 and MA2002, so uh, linear algebra and calculus. Those two are the fundamental modules uh, for almost all the branches of mathematics involving computing, of course, including the QF, okay? So it's not surprising to include the linear algebra and the calculus uh, in, this, uh, in this curriculum. And these two are offered in both semesters, okay? So you can have some flexibility. And only after uh, 2002, the calculus. This calculus, uh, MA2002, only covers one variable calculus. For the multivariable calculus, you go to MA2104. All right? So after you finish calculus and uh, some other modules, you can go to the numerical analysis one or DSA. Uh, DSA stands for the uh, uh, data science major, <coughs> sorry. Essential data analytic tools. So uh, these two basically cover the uh, same kinds of contents, okay? Uh, uh, 
uh, you go to this module to learn, as the name suggests, you learn some important numerical tools. As uh, as far as I know, you will use some mathematical uh, software, say like MATLAB, or use uh, Python to do some programming, okay, uh, in the numerical analysis. So this is a math module under MA, uh, but uh, because you are going to deal with data in the future, so uh, this tool is very important for you. And we also have another module after you have taken calculus and linear algebra that is so-called the probability. The probability is very, very important for um, for the uh, quantitative finance, because when you go to the financial industry, you you meet the world with uncertainty. Okay, how to uh, characterize the world with uncertainty? The probability is very important. From my uh, experience, the students who do not understand probability cannot go very far in quantitative finance. Okay, and also the probability may be uh, in the very beginning you think it is an it is an easy object, especially if you are stats major, okay, the level 1000 module may be uh, quite easy to you, but this, when you go to the deeper level, okay, for the probability, this is a part where students make mistakes, okay, very easy to make mistakes. In some sense, it's a little bit confusing, but once you get a good foundation in probability, you can go very, very far in uh, quantitative finance, okay, so this one is important. And following this MA modules, not surprisingly, we have QF modules, okay? So QF2103 and QF2104. QF2104 is offered in both semesters, and QF2103 is uh, offered in semester two only. Uh, QF2104 is so-called the fundamentals of quantitative finance. As the name suggests, uh, this one uh, is uh, considered to be a subsequent module of QF1100, give you a little deeper understanding of the basic tools, techniques, computations, and models of finance. Okay, so this is uh, something you must read. And uh, uh, at the level 2000, if you are QF major, you need to pass all of them. So when you make your study plan, you need to take note of the uh, semesters that those modules are offered. Uh, usually, uh, the modules up to 2000 level, uh, they are offered in both semesters. Uh, we have only one exception, that is QF2103. Note that QF2103 can be only be read after you have taken QF2104. So QF2103 can be uh, seen as a computational application of the knowledge you learn from QF2104, okay? So this is the 2000 level. Uh, let me uh, continue, speed up. In the uh, 3000 level, if you are QF major, then you need to pass all these three modules. From uh, level uh, 3000 onwards, actually uh, we have um, most of the modules offered in one semester only. For example, QF3101, uh, uh, QF3103, uh, these two are offered in semester twos only. When you make your study plan, uh, you need to take note of this. And ST3131, the regression analysis, this is offered by the stats department. And this is an important tool to, uh, for you to analyze data. Okay, so when you really work in a bank or other financial industry, you will see lots of data and uh, you need the, those regression models. Because of the high demand, the SD3131 is offered in both semesters. And at 3000 level, you need to pass all of them. And in uh, 4000 level, you need to pass four modules. Okay, don't worry. Uh, you see lots of lists. Uh, but uh, these three modules are compulsory, okay? Uh, the QF4102 and QF4103, they are normal lectures uh, offered in semester one only. 
And uh, uh, these two modules actually are deeper in quantitative finance. Once you have learned tools to analyze data, you have learned basic knowledge about the finance, then um, QF4102, QF4103, uh, you can, uh, in these two modules, you can see more realistic examples and models. QF4104 is a project model, and this is compulsory. You must pass it. means every QF major student has to do some project. And uh, this uh, QF4104 can be done in both semesters, okay? Semester one or semester two. And uh, for... Uh, uh, for the 4,000 level, you have uh, uh, elective modules. Select one module from this QF4205. Uh, this one would be offered in semester one. And for this QF4211 and QF4212, they are relatively new modules. So uh, maybe you cannot find the information in AOS MOS yet, uh, but uh, the when the, when the time comes, okay, when uh, the first uh, CHS cohort uh, goes to the final year, all the, all the informations will be available. Okay, this is about the QF major. And how about the uh, second major? Because of the uh, time limitation, I need to uh, speed up, okay? So for the second major and the minor, uh, they can be taken as uh, some subsets of Subsets, the requirements are subsets of the major requirements. But we add on more modules to give you uh, some more flexibility and also for the student to do double counting. For example, if you do double majors, okay, there are some modules you can do double counting. But uh, I know some students also want to do three majors, one uh, primary major, one second major, and one uh, minor. Note that we cannot do triple counting, okay? This, that is uh, not allowed, but you can do double counting. So because of the double counting thing, so we add on more flexibilities. At 1,000 level, also we have the QF1100 and the CS1010, okay? This is out of the, out of the curriculum, but still you, uh, out of the graduation requirement, but you need, still need to take it to, to go to say like QF2104, okay? But no matter what, you are going to do some programming in this uh, three, uh, uh, three programs of QF. Um, this is about the 1,000 level. For the 2,000 level, you need to obtain uh, eight MCs from all these modules. So you can see that we have lots of choices. So for example, MA20 something something, actually there are only two modules, uh, eight MCs from here, okay? One is calculus, one is linear algebra. And for the MA15 something, uh, this is, uh, uh, more for the engineering students, okay? If they have taken this, you, uh, for, for example, the uh, engineering major, you can do the double counting, okay? In the QF uh, second major. And uh, uh, the following modules, the four modules, you must pass at 2000 level, okay? So, but uh, for example, for the probability one, we give another choices uh, for the econ students, uh, foundations of uh, econometrics, uh, EC2303, okay? This, this module also includes some probabilities, so we also include it inside. So in the 2000 level, you need to pass all this four and pass another two from this list. And in the 3,000, 4,000, we put it in one block. You only need to choose three modules from this eight, okay? You can see some titled with QF, the first the four modules titled with QF, and some modules from statistics, from econ, from business school, the fin title, okay? From business school. So this is also to give you more flexibility. That's for the second major. And uh, for the minor, minor is a subset of second major. Again, we add some flexibilities, okay? So at 1,000 level, QF1100 is compulsory, of course. At 2,000 level, we have only one QF module, QF2104. And uh, uh, 
uh, one MA module, MA2301. MA2301 actually covers calculus, linear algebra, and probability. In quantitative finance, you will see that these three areas are very, very important. Okay, If you do not understand any one of it, especially the probability, then uh, the concepts of the finance it will, will be very confusing for you. Okay, But uh, we designed this MA3201 uh, 2301, basically for the non-mass majors. That is for non-mass, non-quantitative uh, finance, non-stats, non-data uh, science students. Okay, so it involves all this calculus, probability, and linear algebra. But how about other students? For example, if you are math major, you have already taken. Um, linear algebra and calculus and probability, then, then how, okay? So you can use uh, one module in each area to replace this MA2301, okay? So you can do this replacement. Because this uh, MA2301 excludes, say, like some uh, modules, uh, MA2002, the calculus, if you have taken calculus before, maybe you are excluded from MA2301, okay? So we, uh, we use this uh, replacement to solve the problem. So that's the uh, 2000 level. And for the 3000 level, we have only one module, QF3101. And, uh, um, and one of the following, you see that for the minor, QF minor, we do not have 4000 level requirement, okay? So we only require QF3101 and any one from the following for the 3000. Because the QF minor only requires five modules. Okay. Uh, now let me move on. So how to formulate your study plan? Uh, I tell you that you need to consider the QF major's requirement, but it also we have uh, CHS common curriculum modules in uh, year one and year two, okay? So you need to take both under consideration. You need to gather the list of modules uh, required to be read and then use NUS MOS and the department web page information to determine uh, which semester you do which modules. To help you to do the study plan, I give you this, uh, this diagram. This diagram actually tells you some uh, prerequisites. Uh, I do not want to repeat everything. I just want to highlight one point. That is uh, a dangerous module I want to highlight. That is QF3101. This one you must complete by the semester two of, uh, uh, of year three. Why? Because this QF3101 is offered in semester two only. Uh, basically, you are not ready in year one, and it is too late in year four, so you can only do it in either year two or year three semester two. Why this is important? Because if you do not do it by year three, semester two, then you cannot read, say, like QF4102 uh, or QF4205, uh, okay? So this is a prerequisite for some uh, 4,000 modules. So be careful about that. Okay, uh, here I gave you a sample study plan, but I don't have time to read it. Uh, if you want my slides, I can send it to you. So. Uh, this study plan tells you that this pair one, pair two, pair A, pair B are C, uh, CHS uh, common modules, okay? You need to read in year one and year two. And um, you know, basically in year one and year two, the QF requirement is uh, a little bit light. This uh, study plan is just an example. If you know the prerequisites, you know the uh, modules information, you can make your own study plan, okay? First, you finish the 1,000, and then linear algebra, then calculus. Actually, if you are familiar with linear algebra or calculus, you can do it in year one as well, okay? Uh, and then in year two, you uh, finish the multivariable calculus, uh, numerical analysis, and probability, okay? Build up the foundations. And in year three, this is a little bit heavy. You need to finish uh, the QF2104, QF2103, and uh, the regression analysis, and advanced mathematics in quantitative finance, This uh, and this 
dangerous module QF3101, okay? This one is offered in semester two only, keep this in mind. And in year four, you finish these modules and do a project. This study plan is for QF major, okay? If you do second major or uh, minor, you can uh, build up your study plan similarly. Uh, that's all about my presentation. Uh, thank you. Uh, sorry for a little bit hurry. If you need more information, you can just uh, come to me. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Okay, I will be outside the LT for the next half an hour. If you have questions, you can just come to me. Okay. Sorry. Thank you, Dr. Li Wei. This concludes our consultation.